So you got lucky and you got the new Nintendo Switch OLED. Did you get the white one? No, neither did I. But I was lucky enough to get one on launch day. And there was a line, it was kind of fun. So I'm gonna show you how to transfer all your games and save data from your old Nintendo Switch to the new shiny Nintendo Switch OLED. Before I get started, make sure to subscribe to How To Do It All for more how-to videos like this one. And make sure to check out the description for more information and links to the Nintendo Switch OLED. Turn on your old Switch and keep it nearby. Your old Nintendo Switch is called the Source system. You will need it to start the transfer. Unbox your Nintendo OLED system and turn it on also. Select the country, connect to Wi-Fi, get it started. Your new Nintendo Switch OLED is called the Target Console. On your old Nintendo Switch, go to System Settings, then Users, then select Transfer Your User Data. There will be some prompts you need to click through, click Next, and then Next again. And then you will come upon an option to select the Source Console. Select your Source Console, then you'll be asked which user will be transferred. Select the user you want to transfer and press A. The next screen tells you what is about to be transferred to your new switch. Click continue. You will now see that your source console is searching for the target console. Now move to your target system, the new Nintendo Switch OLED you want to transfer all your data to. You will see a screen that says a new user will be added to the console. Click next. On the next screen, select import data from another console. Answer whether or not you still have the console. Then answer if you want to keep using your previous console. If you click yes, you'll be prompted to link your Nintendo account to the new console. In my case, I want to sell my old Switch console, so I'm going to choose no. Then on the next screen, click next, and then click transfer. During the transfer, it might tell you to update your console. Follow the steps to update your console. After the update, it might take you back to the Add Users page, so you might have to start over and follow the steps again if it does. When you first start up your Switch, you might want to update it then so that you don't have to go through this process during the transfer. Make sure your Switch is connected to AC power. The Switch will not do the transfer unless you're connected to power, as I learned while shooting this video. Next, click on the Sign In button and sign into your Nintendo account with either your email address or user ID. Your Nintendo account is different from your Nintendo Switch Online account, which we'll get into later in this video. Once you're signed in, select Next. Follow the prompts to confirm your console and original model. Now go back to your Source system, which is your old Nintendo Switch, and select Transfer, which will now be displayed on the screen. The transfer process will begin, and all you have to do is sit back and wait for it to end, or go do something positive with your life. You have time, do it. Once the transfer is done, press end on your old Nintendo Switch, then grab your new Nintendo Switch OLED and press end. And boom, your transfer is complete. Your Nintendo user profile and game save data is now on your new OLED Switch. You can repeat this transfer method for each user account on your old Switch until your new Switch and your old one are both identical. You will have to go to the Nintendo eShop to re-download your games. To do that, open the Nintendo eShop, then select your icon in the top right-hand corner and go down to re-download games. Your games will re-download to the console, then once you start them, you might have to update them in the Switch. When you first go to play a game with a cartridge, you might be prompted to update the game data, which might take a few minutes. Now if you pay for a Nintendo Switch online account, which is $20 a year and $35 a year for a family membership, you can transfer your files using the cloud and keep your old Nintendo Switch in service and be able to play all your games on both consoles simultaneously. And you can install a micro SD card to expand your storage and share game files between the two consoles. Let me know in the comments if you think I should make a video about how to use your Nintendo Switch online account to move all your files and to highlight all the perks that that membership has to offer. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to How To Do It All for more how-to videos. And make sure to check out our description with links and more information to the Nintendo Switch OLED. And as always, thanks for watching How To Do It All.